Here we have an interesting question on linearly independent vectors. Question is, if 3u plus 4v and 6u minus 2v are linearly independent vectors, show that u and v must be linearly independent also. Now, let's write down the linear combination of these. It could be written as a times 3u plus 4v plus b times 6u minus 2v equals to 0. Now, since they are linearly independent vectors, then a and b both should be 0, right? Since that means a equals to b equals to 0, right? Since they are linearly independent. Now, otherwise, they are dependent, correct? So now let's try to solve it. So what we'll do is we will combine u's and v's and then see what do we get. So let's rearrange it. So we have 3au and au plus 4av plus 6bu minus 2bv equals to 0. So let's combine the coefficients of u's and v's. So with u, we get as 3a plus 6b and with v we get 4a minus 2b equals to 0. Now we know that now for this to be 0 we know u and v are not 0 right they are non-zero vectors and therefore 3a plus 6b on 4a minus 2b should be 0, right? So we can write this as 3a plus 6b equals to 0 and 4a minus 2b equals to 0. Now when we solve for this, we get we can use elimination or substitution method. So, so let's substitute, or we can just multiply this by 3. So if I multiply this equation by 3, I get 12a minus 6b equals to 0, right? So let's term this equation as equation 1, and this as equation 2. And now if we do equation 1 plus equation 2, then what do we get? So we can eliminate b by that and get 15a equals to 0 or a equals to 0. Now if I substitute a equals to 0 here, then I get minus 6b equals to 0 or b equals to 0, correct? So the only solution we get here is a equals to b equals to 0. That is the only solution which we get here, right? So if I put this solution here, then this term, which I could write as, this I could write as capital A, a constant, and this as B. So this equation will translate to A times U plus B times V, right? So this equation is equal to zero only if A and B both are zero. That means capital A is equal to zero and B is also equal to zero, right? both the factors are zero, right? Since this equation is true only when capital A and capital B, that means the linear combination is true only when the scalar products of U and V, the multiples are zero, that means that the equation is linearly independent. So that is how we can show that U and V are also linearly independent.